Hi, I'm Robert O'Brien from O'Brien Guitars. Another guitar just came off my bench about 15 minutes ago. This is a special guitar. The back and sides of this guitar are made out of cardboard. Why cardboard, you ask? Well, about 10 or 11 years ago, a buddy of mine in Brazil, Antonio Tessarin, did an experiment uh, making a guitar out of uh, cardboard, back and sides out of cardboard. The rest of the guitar is made out of wood. Why did he do that? Well, Antonio Tessarin, the father of the modern day guitar, many years ago did an experiment, uh, the, the so-called paper mache guitar, to uh, prove that the guitar, the sound comes from the soundboard, not the back and sides. And rumor has it that the guitar actually sounded pretty good. There's actually a recording out there of that guitar. So about 10 years ago, I'm walking down the street in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I walk into an office supply store and I buy some cardboard. It's actually a thick poster board and it's used by architects to uh, make models or mock-ups of their projects. And I, I remember carrying this thing home on the plane, a big package of it, uh, carried it on board with me. Uh, customs thought that was kind of interesting. But I get it home, and the secret is to air dry it for 10 years. That's how long I've had this, this uh, project in mind, how long I've had this po poster board. So the secret is to air dry it for 10 years, and then you'll get a decent sounding guitar. This guitar's had strings for about 15 minutes, and it, it's really surprising how well this thing sounds. Most guitars, you want to wait 24 to 48 hours before you begin to evaluate them anyway. This one's only had strings for about 15 minutes. So it's actually a, a very sweet sound. It's got a lot of treble, a lot of bass. It actually plays just like my regular guitars. Strings are still going out of tune. They're so new. But uh, the top is made out of uh, spruce. The neck is made out of Spanish cedar. The bridge is rosewood. The bindings are Paul Fejo or Bolivian rosewood. Uh, I believe is what you call it in English. I've put a uh, mini tornavols in it, uh, a feature that I do on a lot of my guitars, my classical guitars. All the interior bracing is Spanish cedar. It's got a nice cedar smell to it. Uh, the finish. French polish. Make sure you French polish it. But uh, it actually turned out really nice. This guitar will be with me at the Guitar Foundation of America uh, convention here in Denver, uh, The uh, I think the third week of June. I also have this guitar at the uh, Santa Barbara Acoustic Show uh, last day of September and the first and second day of October. So if you're in the neighborhood, drop by, see me at the booth, and you can play the cardboard guitar. And happy building. Even Duke the shop dog approves. Huh, Duke? Yeah.